Okay, so I personally chose to work in a chemistry-based project or in a chemistry-based lab with Dr. James Barlow. He's a great professor. He spends a lot of time teaching me stuff and techniques. Um, so we're, we're working on um, antifungal, uh, anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory kind of drug that is extracted from plants uh, from South America. So um, it's usually from 9 o'clock um, to 6 o'clock in the evening five days a week, and if you've given a day or two off during the week, you'd have to read a lot of papers, and you know, next week you'd have to give them a conclusion or whatever. And then uh, in the lab, you're just learning a lot of procedures, a lot of techniques, um, purification methods like extraction, or how to prepare a sample like NMR, TLC, MS, all these terms will make more sense when you get into the lab, but it's a great experience, yeah. So I've learned about myself that I enjoy working more than studying, because sometimes studying can be boring, and if you're working, you kind of see the results in a day or two, even in a week, but you know, you're looking for something specific. Uh, and I think it's less pressure sometimes than studying, you know? Even though like, my research has to do more with pharmacy, but like, eventually pharmacy and medicine are really related, and if you learn more about specific drugs and effects, um, you know, it's, I think it's just essential for both professions, you know? Well, I actually asked myself when I first applied, what do I, what do I want to do? What's the benefit of it? So I w there are three things that are um, important for me. First, to produce a really good review paper, and hopefully, if it's good enough, it gets published. Uh, secondly, I'm hoping to add some potentials or qualities to my CV. Um, and thirdly, you know, be more patient as a person towards my work, as you know, and AOB sang in one of her songs in 1986. Good things come to those who wait. So yeah.